Hi guys, it's Edo from the Simeon Collective again. We're starting a new bust. Um, it's from 3D Art Digital. It's Azulanok and oh, I like it a lot. It brings a lot of Warhammer memories to me. So, hi guys, um, I made the first stages on the lizard, um, and I will show you, here it is, I put it all on video, but um, I shall explain what I did a bit. First I defined all the volumes with, uh, with white, and I used white ink because that's way easier to the airbrush. Um, then followed, followed by glazy like layers from uh, from purple, so I give the sh uh, shapes a nice color. Um, for skill 75, I have to say, Instart does help. The, uh, the Water Plus does help tremendously. Um, I then built up the colors with uh, skill 75 blues. Um, this is just the average work. And I will. <laughs> yeah, this will need a lot of work from, from this point on. Well, I will add a few more color nuances and I, of course, hi I will highlight a lot more. Uh, but also shade a bit more and probably uh, the idea is that he's walking through a jungle and there will be some greenish hues here and, here and there. And I might even do all the gold in non-metallic, so that will be a challenge. See ya! I have been putting on some more layers. Um, lizards often have a, a lighter underlayer, so that was the previous stage. And now I've put, uh, brought out all the texture with, it's not really dry brushing, it's very wet paint actually, but carefully going over that with, uh, with a much darker color. So the, the underlying skin shines through. Uh, this darker color will be highlighted again. Um, yeah, this brings out the texture and makes it makes the skin li really lizardy, <laughs> which it should be, of course. So, moving on. So, another day. Um, I've made quite a bit of progress actually yesterday. Did I that I didn't record, but uh, I will explain. S so I blocked in some more colors uh, just to see where we are going. Uh, as you can see, I've been starting to build up the layers on the face. And this side it's much more done. I'm not too sure about it still myself, but but I <laughs> will get there. Um, it's actually kind of difficult to combine the realistic lizard skin with uh, defining the volumes and placing highlights. And, because I want still want the light light underskin to shine through, but yeah, that's proving to be a quite a challenge. But uh, no, as you can see, I've laid down the base colors on the triceratops skull, if you can call it that. Yeah, I think so, and started to work in the mouth a bit, um, and just to see if uh, the chain of it that would work in emerald colors. I'm still not too sure about uh, whether I will try to do the non-metallic metals or true metallic metals, 
but we'll see. So guys, another day. Um, I moved on quite a bit um, on the skin actually and on some of the scales. Um, I hope that I, I can finish the skin and then start working on either the, the metallics, which I still haven't decided to be non-metallic or too metallic or the, all the bone kind of thingies, the triceratops and such. So as you can see, I highlighted the scales, put some more shading in on the skin, because I wasn't really happy with that. Um, well, yeah, that's about it. I refined the face a bit more. <laughs> it's giving me a hard time, actually. Uh, and painted in some of the veins. Started a bit of the shading on the the necklace, but I'm not too sure where that's going. And well, yeah, just sketching in some more of the lighting I wanted. And uh, well, yeah, I'll take it from here. That's as far as I will go on the camera and then I will work on the, the bone a bit more, or a lot more actually, that you can see where this is going. Um, and be back for the next stage on that. I will do some shading with the eyebrows and let you see that and maybe some tinting. Um, yeah. Hi guys, here we are again with the, the lizard man. As you can see, I have come quite a long way with him. Um, really, everything is done but the non-metallic metal, um, which I started over and over again, and I probably will do some more. Uh, it is really difficult. Um, I've never done it on such a big project, actually. Um, well, I'll tape it and uh, we see how it goes.
So guys, here we are again. Uh, as you can see, I made quite a bit of progress on the non-metallic metal. And I think I found a method that works for me. It's really shiny in this light, but <laughs> you will see it on the pictures. Um, and I hope to show it to you. Um, it's basically combining a few methods I know, uh, I've learned about in the past from Michael Pizarski and uh, Sergio Calvo, actually. It's uh, making a lot of scratches with, uh, with, a, with a small brush or uh, whatever big brush can, you can, at least with a small pointed brush. Um, and then doing some blending by airbrush. But you can also do this with regular glazes, but I just find it easier with the airbrush. So uh, I hope to show it to you. So here I am again with Azuanok Headache Beyond Death. Uh, the non-metallic metal is taking forever. Uh, oh, I'm just kidding, it's really fun to do, but yeah, it's a slow process. Uh, partly because I don't do it a lot and yeah, well, actually partly that's still the whole reason. <laughs> uh, so, but as you can see, I did the, the left side of his face, all the, the on the top of the skull, the parts, uh, the big armor plate is done. Um, yeah, I also worked on the skin a bit more. Um, I added some uh, orange use on the highlights because, um, well, no other reason than I wanted some more color in there. It was very, very blue to my taste, very, yeah not enough life in it and in the face I use the same green reflection as on the non-metallic metal just to make it a bit more interesting um, yeah I have to still do the back side of the skull and the head on the skin a bit um, and of course all the details um, I will tape that I won't tape any more on the um, non-metallic metal because you know, you've seen the process um, yeah, that's about it. Bye bye. So guys, I did some final touches with uh, some glue to make the, to make it more interesting. Um, you will see it probably better in the pictures. Uh, thank you to 3D Artists for a wonderful bust. Uh, I will take it to Scale Model Challenge and I hope it does well there. Uh, by the time you see this video, it's it already has been so um, yeah once again really really enjoyed painting this and it's been a real fun challenge <laughs>